Hi, welcome back to my Arma 3 mission making guide. Today we're going to talk about, uh, fuck, what are we going to talk about? Oh, we're going to talk about servers, and we're going to go ahead and join the private server for my unit. Alright, so we're on the server, we're in the waiting lobby right now, and uh, we're actually on a map that I uh, made a while back that we're actually using for a campaign for the unit. But we're going to talk about how to actually select the mission um, from that computer. So we're going to go ahead and log in as an admin, so for that you type in login, and then I'm going to blur out this password. Alright, so we're logged in as an admin. I'm going to go ahead, hashtag missions. And this is one of the server commands. This is going to pull up a list of all the missions you have. United Serrani, haha. -ha. So we're going to pick on this one. And there we go. Alright, so we are in the server, we are in the mission, and we are ready to start. Alright, so we're in a mission, we're kitted up, we got everything we want, and there's nothing to do. So, we're going to go ahead, scroll wheel, we're going to use Mission Creator Kit. That's what we use on our server, but that's something I'd recommend everyone to use. Um, we're going to log in on there. And then you have this whole fucking thing that pops up. Very useful stuff. I recommend everybody to go through here and try tweaking it a little bit. But uh, most of the time, I just do Zeus instead of using this. But there is some stuff on here that you can't do in Zeus that's really, really useful. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, click on Zeus, and then click on the map. If you don't want to ever have to do it through MCC, you can just log in and press Y. It's up to you. Alright, so we are in the Zeus interface. Alright, so for the first part, we're just going to talk about getting uh, boots on the ground just to have people around the unit or someone to shoot at them. Alright, so we're going to go a little bit far away from base over here. We're going to go over here. Um, so I'm just going to spawn one NATO guy real quick. Make it a uh, auto rifleman. So he's here. We spawned him. If we want him to move around and do anything we want, we just right click. Just like Command and Conquer or any RTS, they're going to go over there. They're going to do that. Uh, if you want to get more advanced with waypoints, you can hold down can uh, control. If you want to get more advanced with the uh, waypoints, you can hold down control and then right click and then right click again and right click again and then right click again. And that turns that into several waypoints. If you want him to do those waypoints again, put a fifth one down, click on cycle and press OK. So then he's going to follow those and an infinite cycle. So real quick, um, another thing you can do is you can hold down alt and just make him do a straight line patrol. Now he's going to go down there, and with this symbol here, you see that he's going to come back and just go right back around. Now let's make him stop. So if you want him to have different moods or different stances, we're going to click on this first one, which is just the uh, unit box. He's Alpha 1-6. This is his general skill level. These are formations you can use for groups. Um, the group behaviors are interesting because in Arma, sometimes they're not proper based on something, so you want to sometimes just keep that on safe and then limited and basically that means they're just going to patrol. If you want it to be a normal patrol, put it on safe and limited. Um, if you want to get more advanced, you can change to hold fire and engage at will, all that good stuff. Now we're stances. So we're just going to make it do a patrol. So we're going to set it to safe and then limited. So now we're going to do the, what we did a second ago. Hold down alt and then right click. So now he is on a patrol. Just walking around, doing his thing. Having a great time. Alright, so now we're going to mess him up and we're going to spawn some CSAT. These are basically going to be the guys that you're shooting at if you're playing as Blue 4. So let's say he's doing a little patrol and we want CSAT to give him a little uh, little wake-up call. So we're going to do what we did before. We're going to use Shift. We're going to move him around. You can even press Alt and make him follow their deaths if you want. So we're going to make this right here. We're going to tell them to go... You can either tell them to straight up just attack the guy, or if you want it to be a little bit more realistic, you can tell them to go here and they can automatically... Uh, find him using their spotting uh, skill that you can change. You can change all the skills that they have um, by double clicking or going into the uh, group AI in modules, but we'll talk about that in a second. Alright, so they're, they're probably going to start shooting at him soon. Yep, yep, he's, he's not having a good time. So he is now in combat mode, and he is also dead. CSAT's victorious in this one. So... They had a little bit of a little bit of numbers advantage, so if we want to mess it around a little bit more, we can get NATO and even possibly give them, uh, I don't know, maybe a tank section. Ready for orders. And now CSAT's going to have some problems. Targeting. Oh, he's dead. He's dead too.
And then we're just going to go ahead and highlight this guy and press the delete key. And that deletes units. Um, you just press that, delete, that delete. Or if you want to delete stuff as a group, you can always, let's see here, if we want to delete these tanks, you want to click on the top one, press down shift, and then click the bottom one, and that selects everything. Boom, there you go. You're going to delete that. And uh, if you ever want to destroy a unit yourself, make sure they die in front of people or something like that, uh, you can do it either through here or you can just highlight them yourself. So if I want the squad leader to uh, take one for the team, I'm going to select him. And if I want to kill him, I'm going to press end. And he just had a heart attack. Now one of these guys is automatically going to take over. And now the new squad lead has disappeared out of existence. So they're still struggling on finding out what to do. This guy has no idea what he's doing. And he is also having a heart attack. So you can just keep doing that as long as you want to fulfill your sick destiny. I don't know, whatever you want. All right, now that you know how to move around units, you know how to delete units, end units, uh, we're going to get into building something very quickly um, for a mission itself. It's going to be a very basic tutorial, and I think everyone should be able to follow along. So we're just going to do a basic mission just like we did before. We're just going to go into compositions. I'm just going to look around, see if I find something that I like. Uh, maybe a mortar position. Maybe that's something that I want to put. Let's say uh, reinforced mortar position. Alright, and that spawns a whole compound with mortars in them. Alright, and uh, something I like to do before we actually start spawning units, so we get rid of all this yellow shit on the screen. It gets really annoying. So we're going to go to modules. We'll cover this in a second. We're going to go to modules. We're going to go down to utility. We're going to remove objects from Zeus. We're going to choose everything within 100 meters. Ah, see, sometimes that won't work, and I'm going to include that in the video. So sometimes you have to mess around pretty hard with mods conflicting with each other. So we're going to go to Add Remove Edible Objects, and I found out that some of this stuff can fix it. So we're going to do 1, 1, 1. All right, now that's not going to do anything, but I think that's going to enable removing objects from Zeus. It's so weird, but it works. It's a thing. So if you ever have problems, feel free to just use the vanilla stuff, and it'll... uh turn it on I don't know how it works but anyway let's go back alright so we've got units we've got the base we've got everything here we want to spawn um, it's a small area so if you want to do individuals that might be better um, but let's do a sentry group right here so they're gonna patrol the end of the base now once again I have to set their mood to safe and limited we're gonna give them a route so I'm gonna hold down control We're going to change that last thing to cycle. Now they have an exterior patrol around the base. Now we're going to go to singles. CSAT. And let's give them some dudes. Now, since this comes with mortars, you're either going to want to delete these before you remove this stuff from Zeus, or put guys on it before you remove it. Because right now, you can't use those, because they're not on the Zeus interface. Um, so right now, let's spawn two marksmen. So we're going to hold down control. Click, control, click. That's how you can, you know, put down more dudes. Put this guy down. Actually, let's delete these guys real quick. We can do one at a time. Put down this grenadier. We're going to face him this way with shift. And click and drag. Use alt. Move him up. And now well, they've got a guard. So let's spawn this little engineer. Move him up. And they've got another guy. No, oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Phasing through time here. Oh, there we go. Now they got another guard. And uh, let's say I just want some dudes to just be chilling inside the base. Um, you can just put them down here, put this guy down here, and they're just chilling inside the base. Now, if you want to get more advanced, let's talk about modules. Uh, specifically, AI behavior. Um, this is going to be part of uh, Ares and Achilles, I believe, that mod pack. Um, I'll give you guys a link to my mod pack if we use all the stuff that I'm using right now. Um, but here we go. We're going to go ahead and go into AI behavior. This is super important with Zeus. So bear with me. We're going to talk about this real quick. We're going to go into ambient animation. And change that animation to, let's just make it watch. So now he's got a cool little animation that he's doing. Let's see if this guy is going to do anything. Let's, uh, let's make this guy talk. He's just going to be talking. Now no sound is going to be coming from him, obviously, but he's going to be looking like he's talking. This guy's just sitting here. Listening to him drone on on his story. Um, 
if you want. Let's just add a little bit of reinforcements real quick. And we got a quad bike and a fuel truck. Um, if you want people to get out of vehicles, just press G and they will get out automatically. Alright, so now we have a pretty decent little base. Uh, if you want to spawn more dudes, you can. Um, being a Zeus is very uh, reliant on how good you can judge difficulty. If you want a really hard mission, uh, you probably want to make, you know, two or three times the amount of people uh, versus, like, the players. You want to NPCs versus players, you want to have about a 2.5 2 ratio. If you want to have a pretty normal mission, about a 1.5 ratio. So if they have eight guys, you're going to have probably around 12 guys for them to go up against at a time. Um, I like to be really hard and mean to all the people in my unit, so I just spawn, like, two and a half times. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we're back in modules. Um, we've got the base, we've got everything we want. Um, let's change some stuff around. Alright, so I've put all this stuff here, but I can't delete any of it. So we're just going to go back. We're going to add objects to Zeus. And we're going to select that. And then, boom, there you go. So let me spawn a little house. So I'm going to go units, singles, house. I'm going to search house in the bar. Scroll a little bit far down. House, big yellow. Alright, so we have a house from vanilla that we're going to use. That's cool. Alright, so let's talk about garrisoning units and uh, making them do stuff. Alright, so modules. Alright, so AI behavior. If you want to make something garrison a unit, you can do it two ways. You can do search and garrison or garrison building instant. Uh, so we're going to do garrison building instant. We're going to search, say 150 meters we can do. And then boom. This guy is at the window. This guy is outside for some reason. Well, let's do it again. There we go. We got two guys inside this house. This one's chilling in this room. That guy's chilling at that window. So now that house is officially defended by CSAT. Um, don't really have a lot of sectors covered, but there's only two guys. Um, if you want to get them out of the house, you just press ungarrison. And they should walk out of that pretty soon. All right, and they are officially ungrouped from that house. If you try to get them to do stuff while they're in, like, garrison to that house, they're not going to do anything because uh, they are stuck there. So uh, let's move on to patrolling. So if you don't want to have to manually set the patrol routes, you can just click on patrol, click 100 or just 111, make them delay at 15 seconds, and now Ares or Ace will give them a patrol route in that distance. So... That takes care of it for you. If you don't want to be uh, too detailed, you'll be a little lazy. That's okay. So while those guys are patrolling, let's talk about AI difficulty and the AI settings. Uh, a lot of these you can just mess around with. You can see these and just tweak them yourself. But some of the most important ones is to put down global AI skill. Um, normally my unit plays with about 90 skill and then 22 accuracy. That way I can spawn more guys and they can actually go up against more people without having to lose. Um... Basically, this is just a level of realism versus fun, in my personal opinion, that you can have. Um, obviously, if they're going up against like special forces or something like that, or more trained units, I'll bump it up to about 50. That's vanilla. And, uh, yeah, it makes it just pretty difficult and pretty challenging. Um, it just depends on how many units you want to spawn and make them go up against. Another important thing for Zeusing is if you want to change any of the uh, environment, you just click on the environment tab. Go to any of these you want. So let's say I just want to use the vanilla stuff for now. Let's make it stormy and give them a little bit of a fog. That should change. There you go. It's stormy and we've got a fog. And if we want the weather to magically clear up, global warming, boom, there you go. And you can always skip time, do all that good stuff. It's really fun. There's more A stuff that uh, if you guys want, I can cover that later. But uh, right now we're just covering the basics of uh, how to Zeus and do all that fun stuff. Um, uh, an important thing is if you guys use uh, Task Force Radio at all, it's uh, going to be very important that you get near your people to hear them if you want. Um, I personally like being really near people so I can hear them and kind of gauge how they're feeling during the op. 
So I use teleport a lot. So that's a, I think, I believe that's an Achilles or an Ares add-on. Um, it's essential if you're going to be doing anything. So if you're in a server that's vanilla but it uses some mods, I'd say use this if you're going to be Zeusing. Um, so we're just going to do that. Since I'm already logged into Zeus, I can do teleport Zeus. Boom. And if you want to do it rapidly, you can just hold down control. Music to my ears. That teleports you around. Now, the problem is, is they can still see you. So we're going to go down to Utility. Then we're going to make Zeus invisible. Booyah. So now, as long as you don't talk, <laughs> they can, uh, you, you can be near them and you can hear them when they're doing stuff. If you want to make yourself visible back again for a after action report and you want to scold your men, just click on Make Zeus Visible, come back to base. If you have any questions about anything more advanced in Zeus, there's a lot of things I didn't cover, but those things weren't unnecessarily uh, needed for um, just doing a mission. Um, some things like, uh, let's see here, uh, if you want to add arsenals to anything, you just spawn a box and click on the add arsenal. Um, if you want to add sound to things, if you want to play a sound, you can do that. Uh, I have a custom sound pack actually in our uh, mod pack that we use, and uh, it's really immersive to tell you the truth. If you want to add some howitzers, you can just click on that, drag that over there. Um, lots of stuff you can do. Lots of really fun and important stuff. One thing that's important to do while you do Zeusing is um, you can remote control units. So if you have a little team over there and they're not really covering 360 enough and you don't feel like making an AI do it, you can just remote control. So you can press control and then double click on that unit. Now I am remote controlling this unit. I am not the, a player right now. I am just an AI running around, and uh, I can suppress people if I want, and they can cover their sectors like real players. Now, if I want to get back out, I can just press Y, and I'm back in the Zeus interface. Uh, don't be afraid if it lags a little bit. It's gonna happen. It's Arma. Hopefully, they're working. So yeah, that's pretty much everything from Zeus. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments or feel free to actually come to our TeamSpeak that my community uses. Uh, we host ops all the time. I usually Zeus them and they are at least decent quality. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, once again, I'm around. So I'll see you guys later. If you guys enjoyed the video today, be sure to subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. I'm not going to plug a bunch of things. But I will say... Um, if you are looking for any examples of good Zeusing or, or, or it actually being put into use, um, Lance Corporal Liru is a really good YouTuber that I've found, and he I've learned a lot of stuff from him. Uh, he uses pretty much every part of Ares and Achilles that there is to make really, really awesome missions. And uh, Luton is L-E-U-T-I-N, however the hell you spell his name. He's a, he's a really good guy. He makes really, really tactical stuff. Um, there's a lot of other Armor YouTubers out there. I'm sure you guys will be able to find them. And... Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment. I know I've probably already said that like a thousand times. But I'm here, and I have nothing better to do. So I'll see you guys later.